Ready to empower your body? Today we're diving into a beginner's calisthenics workout. Calisthenics, for those new to the term, is a form of exercise that uses the weight of your own body to build muscle strength and flexibility. It's a journey of self-discovery, harnessing your inner warrior to unlock your full potential. But before we begin, let's not forget the importance of a warm-up. Warming up prepares your body for the workout ahead, increasing blood flow and loosening up your muscles to prevent injury. So let's get that heart rate up. Start by jogging lightly in place. Feel the rhythm of your breath, the light bounce in your step. Then let's raise those knees high, marching to the beat of your own drum. Lastly, we'll jump into some jumping jacks, spreading your arms and legs wide, igniting your heart rate. Now that our body is warmed up, let's dive into the workout. Our first exercise is the push-up, a staple of any calisthenics routine. Push-ups are a fantastic way to strengthen your upper body and core. They're simple yet incredibly effective. Here's how you do it. Start in a high plank position, hands directly under your shoulders, feet hip width apart. Keep your body in a straight line from head to toe. Lower your body until your chest almost touches the floor. Now push back up to the starting position. That's one rep. It's essential to maintain good form. Keep your back flat and your core engaged. Don't let your hips sag or your butt stick up. Go at your own pace. You can always modify the push-up by dropping to your knees. The goal is to challenge yourself, but not at the expense of form or control. Great job on those push-ups. Remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. Next up, we have squats. This exercise is great for strengthening your lower body. To start, stand tall with your feet hip width apart. Now, imagine there's a chair behind you. Lower yourself as if you're going to sit on it, keeping your chest lifted and your gaze forward. Remember, it's crucial to push through your heels as you rise back up. This not only engages your glutes and thighs, but also helps maintain balance and stability. A common mistake is letting the knees cave inwards, so make sure they're aligned with your toes throughout the movement. As you squat, focus on your breath. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you rise. Listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, adjust accordingly. There's no rush. It's all about building strength and confidence at your own pace. Well done. Those squats are sure to make a difference. Keep practicing, and soon you'll notice a significant improvement in your lower body strength and flexibility. Let's move on to the plank, an excellent exercise for core strength. As we glide into this posture, imagine your body as a solid plank of wood, straight and unyielding. The plank pose is all about alignment and engagement. Your shoulders should be stacked directly above your wrists, your body in a straight line from the top of your head to your heels. The secret to a powerful plank is in your core. Pull your belly button towards your spine and squeeze your glutes. This will help you maintain a solid straight line. No sagging hips or piked bottoms here, warriors. I encourage you to hold this pose for as long as you can. But remember, it's not about the duration, it's about maintaining proper form. So hold your plank, feel your muscles working and breathe. Great work on those planks. Remember, every second counts. Our final exercise is jumping jacks, a great cardio workout. Jumping jacks are a fantastic way to get your heart racing and to ignite your body's natural energy. They're also quite fun and remind us of the joy of movement. To perform a jumping jack, stand tall, then jump, spreading your legs and swinging your arms up to clap above your head. As you land, bring your legs together and your arms back to your sides, returning to your starting position. Remember, it's not a race. Maintain a steady pace that feels comfortable for you. Breathing is paramount. Inhale as you jump out, exhale as you jump in. This rhythm will help you maintain your energy levels and prevent you from getting winded too quickly. Push yourself but always listen to your body. If you need a brief pause, take it. Every jumping jack you complete is a testament to your strength and determination. Excellent job, you should be proud of yourself. Now that we've finished our workout, it's important to cool down. This allows your heart rate to gradually return to its resting state and helps to prevent muscle stiffness. Let's start by extending your arms above your head, reaching for the sky. Feel the stretch in your sides, your back, your arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Now gently bend forward, keeping your knees slightly bent. Reach for your toes or as far as you can go. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings, in your back. Hold for a moment and then slowly rise, vertebra by vertebra. Next, let's give our upper body some love. Cross one arm over your chest and use the other to deepen the stretch. Switch arms and repeat. Can you feel the release in your shoulders, your upper back? Now let's move to our lower body. Find a wall or a sturdy object for support. 
bend one knee reaching back to grab your foot feel the stretch in your quadriceps switch legs and repeat finally let's finish with a gentle twist sit on the floor cross one leg over the other and twist your body towards the bent knee this will help stretch your spine and relieve any tension remember each stretch should be held for about 30 seconds it should feel good not painful if you feel any discomfort ease off a bit maintaining a regular exercise routine like this one is key to a healthy lifestyle it's not just about the physical benefits but also about empowering yourself building discipline and enhancing your overall well-being remember wellness is a journey not a destination it's about progress not perfection every step you take every rep you complete is a victory celebrate your victories no matter how small they might seem thank you for joining us today be sure like comment share and subscribe to our wellness warriors channel remember the journey to wellness is a marathon not a sprint keep up the good work and we'll see you in the next calisthenics session 2 video